so in this one what I'm going to do is add the external doors so we're going to have the front and back and the garage door so let's get started so the first thing I'd like to do is get the insertion point for the front door so I'm going to press 7 for top view and just zoom in here okay so if I select this object I can tab into edit mode I can select it shift s cursor to select it and that places the cursor at that point which is the center of that object so I'm going to tab back to object mode and over on the archi pack tab I'm going to click door and for this it's just going to be an 80 by 200 okay so I can zoom in here and what I would like to do is get the width out to our outline here so over here on the width I'm just going to press and hold shift and left click and drag and drag this over to that width I can zoom in to make sure that's lined up it's a little bit too long so I can reduce it slightly and I'm going to press 1 for front view and zoom in here so I'm just going to try and get the height to match so press and hold shift and left click and drag in here so that's not too bad a little bit high and that's pretty good okay if I zoom back out here what I might do is come back to solid and I'm going to come over to the layers and just temporarily hide the front elevation we also need to apply the boolean so I'm going to select the wall and come up here to tools and check auto boolean okay so that just cuts the hole in the wall for me so I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button and come around so I can see this a little bit better I'm going to select this frame I'm going to make a couple of adjustments to the style of the door so under models I'm going to increase this to number one and I'm going to change the horizontal count to I think I'm going to have six sections I'm going to reduce the border to maybe one millimeter and I'm going to reduce the space between them also and that's more or less something I had on my plan and I'd be pretty happy with that the next thing I want to do is just you can see that the offset is a little bit too strong I want the door to be kind of in the middle of its frame so I'm going to come over to offset and just increase that now the other thing you can do is we could reduce the depth and drag in that frame underneath Okay, so if I drag this in like this, now what, what will happen, if I'm just going to right click, what will happen when you update the auto boolean, that will go back to the way it is. Unfortunately, it doesn't keep its new position. So I'm just going to leave that there and before I render, I might come back and I might just reduce this the way I want it. But for the moment, I'm just going to leave the frame proud of the wall. Like I said, I would prefer to see it in underneath, but it's just going to keep reverting back to this position. And like I said, before I render, I will come back and update this. But for the moment, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, the next thing I'd like to do is actually add a back door. So I'm going to press 7 and come over here. I'm going to press Z and bring up wireframe. I'm going to select our door outline again. Tab into edit mode, selected, shift S, cursor to selected. And now tab back to object mode and come up to create and select door and again I'm just going to pick the same 80 by 200 and I can zoom in here I'm going to increase the width so press and hold shift left click and drag and I can zoom in here a little bit more press and hold shift and just drag this back slightly okay and I'm going to press Control 1 for back view it's not too important you're going to see it both ways but I'm going to zoom in here and increase the height and something like that okay so I'm just gonna press and hold the middle mouse button come around I'm gonna come back to solid and again I'm gonna have to select the wall come up to tools and auto boolean and come back around a little bit more select the frame so we can make a couple of adjustments I'm gonna bring up the model to model tree so we have a glass frame I'm gonna have a horizontal and vertical of one so I'm gonna reduce the border just drag that up there like this nice big glass panel in the back door so maybe a little bit more something like that and that wouldn't be too bad again the offset I need to drag that back a little bit into the frame but otherwise I think that's pretty good maybe a little bit more I think 170 is a good good number okay so that's the front and back door in position I'm gonna press 7 for the top view come over here towards the garage I'm gonna press Z bring up wireframe select this section again tab into edit mode I'm going to select it, shift S, cursor to selected, and come back then to object mode. So again, on the create tab, I'm going to click door. This time, I'm going to choose the 400 by 240 garage. And again, I'm going to reduce it in width 
to match my wall position something like that I can zoom in left click and drag not too bad I'm gonna press 1 for front view and what I can do again if I want I can come over to layers and switch back on the front elevation zoom in here and reduce this in height then from 2.4 down to this opening height doesn't look too bad press Z come back to solid okay again I'm gonna hide the front elevation I'm gonna select the wall come up to tools and auto boolean so I can zoom in here click my garage door and again what I need to do is just reduce the offset on this or increase it I should say just drag this out to maybe 170 okay and that wouldn't look too bad it matches up pretty nicely with the front door I'm gonna have timber on both of these doorways okay so as it is I think that's pretty much the external doors okay and that's going to do it for this one